welcome to today's video. So today I'm doing my April bullet journal. If you're new to my channel, hi my name's Chloe, welcome to my channel. Make sure you like this video and subscribe down below, it's free. So basically March is, excuse me, March has been and gone, out the way. It was a very good month, I went to Germany, I met new people. It was just, it was a really good month for me. Um, so everything's looking up, so basically this section of my bullet journal shows that. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I've gained quite a lot of subscribers in the last two months so that is brilliant. Another thing that I quickly want to say, I will still be posting but I just want you guys to bear in mind that I am doing my A-levels right now. I am very very stressed. Um, I have a week to finish my coursework <sighs> for my DT so this is like uh, clockwork in my head. So this is why this is quite a quick video today. Um, but yeah, hopefully when all my exams are out of the way, I'll be able to produce loads of videos. So let's get on with the video then. So starting my bullet journal the way I always do, I'm going to be starting off with a quote. So the quote is, writer's reign. It's very small, very simple, but it just was my mood at this moment in time. I have already drawn some umbrellas out. I basically circled around some sellotape and divided it into eights. And then I've just gone and outlined them and made them look like umbrellas from a aerial view. I've gone for the theme of umbrellas with the association of April showers. So I thought this was a really cute idea. I saw this on Pinterest. So it isn't an original idea. It's basically copied, but I've made it my own. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because you're probably bored of me drawing umbrellas by now. But I did this on the second page as well, like a double page spread and then I wrote April next to the umbrella in the middle. I also forgot to mention that the pen I'm using isn't the usual uni pin pen I'm using. It's a 0 0.5 uni pin instead of a 0 0.1. I personally usually don't like using a thicker pen, however, I actually like this look. It's quite a bold look, and especially with the yellow umbrella, I thought it kind of needed to stand out. So I coloured two umbrellas in yellow and the rest of them I did in two different greys and then I did three umbrellas with both shades of grey on them just to make it a bit more interesting to look at. I decided to not write April in calligraphy because I felt like it might overcomplicate this page and I thought I might ruin it because my calligraphy isn't that great at the moment. I have been practising it but it just doesn't seem to be going my way at the moment. So basically I just finished off this umbrella and then I coloured the rest of them in. I didn't think I would show you me doing them because that would be boring and I just wanted to move on to the next page which is my calendar page. So I did my normal layout for this page. I wrote April at the top, I did my grid at the left hand side for my work and then I put notes at the top and then I obviously put my calendar. Something slightly different that I did this time, but my camera didn't record because for some reason it decided to stop recording. But I put an underlay beneath the boxes to make it stand out a bit more, make it pop out the page, and then I coloured another two umbrellas in and coloured the April in, in yellow. So obviously next is my diary section of the bullet journal. I did do a different layout this time. I'm trying to be a bit more experimental. So I did some boxes, four boxes each page, they're about the same size as a Polaroid, like I did for my Polaroid pages, and then obviously numbered the pages. I then put April at the top, and then I decided to use five different shades of blue to line the page and make it look quite creative. Um, I did this because it matches my nails this month. That sounds really silly, and it doesn't match the other two pages, which I've only just realised. Um, but I really like this page. I think they look really cool. However, it took me about 15 minutes to do this to this one page and then I had to do it another four times. So if you want to do this, you have to have a lot of patience. Like I said, although this did take me a long time to do, I do really like the overall look of this. I didn't record all of it because that would have been boring again and it did take me ages to do. So these are my pages that I've done and then obviously I'm finishing off on a quote and that quote is let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy day. The only thing about this page is the fact that I've got some of the blue on it so it's kind of gone a bit green on the umbrella where I've coloured it in yellow but you know that's not the end of the world it's not completely ruined it so I just outlined all of the lettering 
in my 0.5 Unipin pen and then coloured in the uh, rainy and the let part of this quote and then outlined the umbrella. And then that takes us to the end of my April bullet journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this. I will link down my other bullet journal videos down below and I'll also link the playlist at the end of this video. Feel free to check out some of my photography videos. I have a lot planned for this next month, so hopefully you're all looking forward to that. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching again and have a good week.